Hello everyone, welcome to What's in the Bag with my pal here, Mr. Peter Hurley. What's happening? I am here at Photoshop <laughs> World with you and I, I, this is, this is, I get to see you. This is what's happening. I know, that it's is cool. I love it. Well, and we've got something that's just, this is total geek talk. Uh -huh. I mean, yesterday we were on the podcast, but today we're talking about gear. I love talking about gear. You like gear? I love gear. Okay. I'm a gear junkie. I have issues with gear. You do? I have so you're kind I've of always geek. had issues with gear. Yes, I would say that. You're a geek. Okay. I'd say there's two things I spend money on. Okay. Well, besides my kids and That's my good. wife and family and stuff. Yes. Two hobbies. Well, well photography is not really a hobby. So I, I race sailboats. And I spend money on photography gear, and that's it. So I spend money on sailing and, and photography gear, and that is it. Really? Okay. And on occasion, I'll buy myself some some sort of new article of clothing. But other than that, photography gear beats it. Once every year, you get yeah, some new clothes. That's it. Let's talk sure. about your gear. What? All right, my gear pay, my gear line is called Hurley Pro Gear, and it's it's basically you know I'm a studio shooter, but I like to take my studio outside. I like to I I shoot all over the world, so I want to take stuff with me. And I've always had problems taking stuff with me. So the gear started as, okay, I want to take this thing that's in the studio and take it with me. What am I going to do? So I started with this thing called Pro Board, which is a rolled up, uh, it's like plexiglass, but that you can roll up. So now I do all my headshot work. I use it as a backdrop. I've got a black one. I've got a, a black matte one, a white matte one, and a glossy one. And I just take them everywhere with me. Wow. Um, so it's easy and accessible. You can put it in your suitcase. I yeah. mean, does it? Cool. It's not in a suitcase. No, it comes in its own bag. Its I should have brought it. I don't know why I didn't bring it. Come to on. Why Peter. did I not bring it? But it comes in its own bag. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So um, there's that. And then I've got other products that are coming out in the next couple months that I'm working on, which are all based on the same thing. What do I have in the studio that I can't take with me? And I want to take some, you know, something with me so people can sign up for my newsletter at hurleyprogear.com or they could check out stuff there. Okay. And that's really what it's all based on. Awesome. Yeah. But you also have, and that's kind of hush hush. We're not talking about where the when the gear is coming out. We're so we'll not, just leave it at that. Like, we'll yeah, leave it at that. Yeah, I don't like people but, ask me all that. Don't ask me if you see me using something. <laughs> I will use it. I will be in videos. I will be shooting with this stuff. When you see okay. that, then you can ask me. All but right, before that, right. it's coming, but it's slow. Okay. Second thing, you've got a community that you mm -hmm. teach thousands of portrait photographers. Commercial and now for, Pro. for your commercial break, <laughs> PHQ Pro. Love it. So you've got six thousand photographers from all over the world. Yeah. On the on the site. So it's a it's a headshot community which is the biggest in the world that I know of. Mm -hmm. Um and I think it's pretty darn cool because what we've done is I, we've created this really vibrant community of people that are passionate about taking headshots. Um, and for me, headshot photography is the biggest growing genre in photography that I've seen, at least yeah. that I've experienced, because I used to shoot all actors. Now I shoot more corporate than actors. I mean, it's like everybody and their mother wants a LinkedIn profile picture. Sure. And they want a good one, and if it's not pro, they're not going to look good. Yeah. So they need that. And, and a lot of people, just for personal branding purposes, want um, really good headshots. Yeah. So I get questioned by people all over the world, and this um, site was developed, and we get really good search results on Google so people get referrals through the site for shoots That's on awesome. headshots. So awesome. I tell everybody sign up for free. It's uh, ph2pro.com. I should remember that. And um, <laughs> <It's>, uh... <laughs> and uh, and yeah, and if you want to get involved with the coaching, there's a fee. But otherwise, it's like people can just sign up, sign awesome. up and stuff. And I'm really all my workshops and everything I'm doing there. So I've got um, two DVDs that are out, the art behind the headshot and illuminating the face that I did with F-stoppers and there's links to those there. And then my main workshop is the headshot intensive and I've done it all over the world and I'm going to add an illuminating the face workshop soon Love too, it. which is going to be gear based. So all you guys gear, we'll, we'll work on it. I'm cool. working on it with pro photo. So Love it. it should be good. Well, not everyone can afford everything that, that Peter has in his bag. So definitely check out lensrentals.com and Put some, you know, add some things to your arsenal and check these things out. You can try before you buy. But in the meantime, I would definitely follow Peter on all of the social media that he's involved with. He does a lot of things on Spreecast. Uh, you, you do, you're very heavily involved with Twitter and Facebook. So definitely check out PeterHurley.com and everything that he's involved with. Peter, thank you so much. Thank you. Can I say one more thing? Sure. Guys, whatever you do, have backup. Backup. You got to have multiple bodies, multiple lenses. I was out doing a job in LA once and I had 
I had my body, I had two bodies and two backs. They both went down. Oh, and then I had my assistant FedEx me one and that went down and then I had to go rent one. Oh, so geez. now I don't leave, I, on a big job, I usually have three bodies um, and a bunch of, and, and I use different cameras. Like it's like, hey, if one goes down, the client, I'll be like shooting the phase, and if the phase happens to go down, it never has yet. Where's the wood? Um, <laughs> um, then it's good to have that I've background. got the cannon, and then yeah. if the cannon goes down, I could go to whatever else I have in my bag. Which sometimes I have the X100, so I might go to that, or I might go to you know the. Ha I actually still have my some Hasselblad gear, so I, have a, I always take my phase with the Hasselblad with the cannon. So I've got three bases covered. So if you're doing a big job, guys, back up, back up, back up. Awesome. Great advice. PeterHurley.com. Boom. Thank you, Peter. Thank you.